we launched a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Friday, September 17th, 2021. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Friday. The weekend is almost here and the race for the Men's Physique Olympia looks like it's starting to heat up thanks to this brand new update from Chiron Holden. Way back at the start of the season, Chiron caught everyone's attention after he destroyed the entire lineup at the Pittsburgh Pro, which catapulted him to the front of the line as far as title contenders are concerned. But since then, things have cooled off to a certain degree because he's basically been out of sight and out of mind up until a few days ago. Anyone who's a fan of this division knows that Chiron's got the talent and the pedigree to be considered one of the two or three best athletes in the world. And if world beater Chiron is the person who shows up on stage three weeks from now, he's going to give Brandon Hendrickson and company all they can handle. If you've ever been to therapy, then you've probably heard the term I statements before. But if you haven't, an I statement is basically a way that helps someone be assertive and take ownership of the situation. But when you're 280 pounds and shredded like James Hollingshead, I statements aren't really a thing because your presence alone is enough to remind everyone what you're doing there. With his Olympia debut less than four weeks away now, James and his team are really starting to put their foot on the gas as he heads down the home stretch. Pound for pound, we already know that he has more than enough size and density to hold his own against most of the other athletes in the top 10. So if his conditioning is on point like it is right now, he has a real shot to break into the top 10 conversation before it's all said and done. Up to this point in the season, we still really haven't had a rookie in the men's open jump out in front as an obvious rookie of the year candidate. But all of that can change six weeks from now when we finally get to see the highly touted Egyptian sensation Mo Foda make his pro debut. Back when Mo was on the amateur circuit, he was widely regarded as one of the most exciting amateur prospects in the world. And with the improvements that he's made over the last two years, it feels like expectations are just as high now as they were then. I think it's also worth noting that the Arnold UK, Arnold Classic, and Olympia are all back to back to back, which creates a lot of room in the back half of the season for someone like Mo to pick up momentum and dominate the headlines. Because if he really is destined to be the next big thing in bodybuilding, that post-October window feels like the perfect time for him to make his presence felt. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.